What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis, coming to y'all with a, a topic that a lot of people are discussing today, and I just want to add my two cents and and, and have some some answers in my perspective, so I might as well have just made a video because I was thinking about it, and I know you guys would love to hear what I think about this particular topic, and it's Kawhi Leonard leaving the Toronto Raptors to go to the Los Angeles Clippers to possibly team up with a guy like Kevin Durant since they do have two max contract slots coming into free agency uh, when the season is over they do have enough cap space to sign a guy like Kawhi Leonard and still get a player like Kevin Durant's caliber even if they don't get KD they still could get both if they really wanted to and if both players were interested but should he leave the number one team in the NBA right now the Toronto Raptors, a team that he got traded to. He didn't put it on his want list. He didn't say these are the teams he wants to go to. Kawhi Leonard just ends up getting traded out of the Western Conference because Greg Popovich didn't want him to play in the West and trades him to the East. And now the Raptors have become the best team in the NBA, even though they was the number one team last year outside of the Rockets, but in the East. They took a step forward this year with the injuries to Golden State and other teams, losing a lot of rotation guys and, and not being able to close games. The Raptors have came out and had a start that a lot of people didn't really see, um, especially the fact that they only lost seven times right now. And they look pretty well balanced with having guys like Serge Ibaka, Pascal Siakam, Jonas Valanciunas as big bodies, but also having perimeter players like OG and DeLon and Kwai and Danny Green and you can just go on and on and then they also have Kyle Lowry and Fred Van Fleet at the point guard position so this is one of the most stacked you can go one through nine one through ten on this roster and everybody can play everybody can you know fill a void on this team and this is one of the more well built teams um Coming into the season, I knew they would be special. I knew that they'd have a chance to be number one in, in the East, but I didn't think that they'd be this good. And they they all on the same page. They they flowing right. The biggest flaw with this team is Kawhi Leonard. And he's having one of his best seasons in his whole NBA career. He's you can make a debate that he making. I mean, you can make a debate that he having a better year than the year that he was almost the MVP. Uh, with the San Antonio Spurs, and they probably on pace to win them the same amount of games. Not only that, Kawhi Leonard is putting up some great numbers for his career, some career highs in certain areas. And, you know, he's not even 100%. I still see a, a, a little hesitation. I still see a little bit of a little offness. His fadeaway ain't dropping as much as it usually do, even though he's starting to pick that up. His defense is starting to get more confident, and he's starting to pick that up. His efficiency started off a little rocky this beginning of this season, and now he's starting to become more efficient, becoming back close to a 50% shooter, which he has done before, which shows you that he's one of the elite scorers in NBA history. The fact that he can get you 20 points and still be able to shoot above 45 from the field and above 36 from the three-point line while still giving you 85-plus from the free throw line Shows you that he's one of the best scorers in the league um, when healthy. And they're giving him a lot of shot attempts. That was something I thought that he really needed to do. If he really wanted to be the best player on the team, he has to be more in attack mode. He has to be more aggressive. And I feel like Kawhi Leonard has done that this year. Going out here, attacking the paint, creating shots for his teammates, while also getting his shots. Some games he shoot 25 shots. Some games he shoot over 20 and he really wasn't doing that that much in san antonio he's doing that a whole lot um obviously right now in toronto plus if you really think about it um he is still the best perimeter defender in the nba he's been proving that this year that he's still the best perimeter defender but the thing that's crazy is leaving a team that's the number one team in the nba leading a team that has been dominant probably the most well-balanced team is in the NBA outside of the Warriors because obviously they don't have DeMarcus Cousins right now and we haven't really seen them play at all this season. I think the Warriors are definitely the best team in the NBA, but that's just based off talent. But when you look at roster-wise, this team is not that far from Boston, if not on the same level, which means if he can stay in Toronto, um, he, he's going to have a chance to compete for a championship every year 
as long as they can continue to plug in right the right pieces around him and Nick Nurse, they should be able to figure out figure out how to win and they should figure out how to be great. But I think that the only problem with Toronto is is that he's the lone star. Kyle Lowry, he he plays well in the regular season, but he falls off um, in the playoffs. And right now he's going through a tough patch right now in his shooting ability, but the Raptors are still figuring out ways to win games. Whether it's with Kawhi Leonard or not, this team has been firing on all cylinders, and I think that they definitely should get a lot of consideration the fact that they traded for him when he did not really want to go to Toronto, and he, he did not have him on his list. The fact that they traded for him and getting this trust in him, giving him the shot opportunity, opportunities giving him the ball in clutch moments so he can close out games and they willing to pay him the money and they was willing to give up assets to take a chance on him that show you how much they believe in him that show you how much they want to please him they show you how much they respect his talent and his abilities and you have to give credit to your side and the toronto raptors for really going all out and proving that they are a team that should keep them because they having the best season in the NBA so far. And it's, it's amazing to see seeing that they trade a guy like DeMar. That's a hard worker continue to improve for a guy like Kawhi Leonard. And you just see the difference of the team, his ability to shoot the three, his ability to handle the ball, his ability to lock up some of the best players in the NBA and switch on other guys as either smaller or bigger than him and still getting them that impact is something that DeMar DeRozan couldn't do. And we're starting to see that little small difference um, in the way they play, in the style of play, and the fact that they can use them in more multiple ways offensively and defensively. So I definitely think that Usaias so far has made the case that Toronto could possibly be his home because this is as good as this is as good as it can get. And the only reason why you would go to the Clippers is because you can play with KD. So like I said, they don't have a KD like player on this roster with Kawhi Leonard. And and that's the only problem. That's the only advantage going to the Clippers is you're going to a team that's coached by Doc Rivers, which is a great thing because he's a championship coach. Um, and on top of that, you have the ability to play with another superstar, whether it's Kevin Durant or not, because you have two mass contract spots. But you are going to lose some of your team going to the Clippers, which is the flaw, because some of these people are free agents and they're going to have to um, leave the team if they're going to go with Kawhi Leonard because they can't pay all of these players. So people have that in their mind that they're going to have the same roster. They just add in Kawhi Leonard. And as far from the truth, they're going to have to lose a lot of their players just to get Kawhi Leonard so that way they can give him the money, which means they're going to have to let some of their players go. And if they actually try to get the other mass contract player too, they're going to have to lose a little bit more talent and give it to them. Um, and that's going to be the duo, Kawhi Leonard and the other players. So that's a risk because the only reason why you would go to the Clippers is if you know somebody that you want to play with is going there. Other than that, you basically got it made in Toronto, and that's what they've been able to prove so far in this season, that the only real flaw in this roster is Kawhi Leonard is the only superstar player on this roster. Other than that, the team is built around them. The team plays through them. The team is winning. The team has been dominant. The team is well balanced, and, and, and I like this team right now. Um, they they definitely are fun to watch, and they definitely got the three point shooting. They got the, the the switchable guys. They got the the rim protectors. They got the post up player like like Jonas. Um, they 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 definitely have done a great job of integrating him too and trying to win games while he's still healing, while he's still recovering. Plus they're taking time with his body, allowing him not to play the back to backs, allowing him to get the proper rest, allowing him to play at his own pace, play his game. They're not trying to change him and make him do this, make him do that. They're allowing Kyle Leonard to be Kyle Leonard and are utilizing him the right way. So I think that this is gonna be a tough decision um to leave Toronto because of everything that they have proved right now. Will he be crazy to leave Toronto if they're the number one team in the, in, in the East and they get to the Eastern Conference Finals or even the NBA Finals? He will be a little crazy, but the fact that you can play with another superstar and still have great role players and a great coach like Doc Rivers is not out of the question. It, it still is possibly a better situation depending on if they can get Kevin Durant or another player that's better than Kyle Lowry because they have the role players. They have the coach. They're just you can play with the role players and the coach plus another superstar 
and you playing in the West was just a little bit more difficult because then you had to worry about the Golden States and other teams that you have to beat to get to the championship. But if you have Kawhi Leonard, Doc Rivers, and another All Star player, I don't see why you you can't get to the Western Conference Finals. Because remember, Kawhi Leonard made it to the Western Conference Finals with a San Antonio team that just had Lamarcus Aldridge. And Lamarcus Aldridge wasn't a superstar player. When quiet when he teamed up with Kawhi Leonard, he was an all-star player. He was one of the top 25 players. But Kevin Durant is one of the top five players. And they have other players that's in that top 15 range. And they was able to get to the Western Conference Finals without even utilizing uh, Kawhi Leonard that much because he missed a lot of the games that year. And they still was able to get to the Western Conference Finals, even though they would go on to get swept. By the Golden State Warriors, you do have to remember Kawhi Leonard did not play for the rest of that series. So that series could have been a lot more competitive if he was healthy. So it just show you how great of a player he is and it show you how much of a difference he makes. Plus, it shows you, you know, that this guy is one of the, the best players in the world. And if he's healthy, they going to have a shot. But if you put him with a little bit more talent like they're doing in Toronto, he possibly can give you a ring. The biggest reason why they might not get a ring is the, the fact that Golden State got five All-Stars. If Golden State didn't have five All-Stars and they start lining up, you know, teams would have a lot better chance of beating them, and I don't see why the Raptors would be any different. And that's all I really got to say. I think Toronto is definitely proving the case to him right now, but I feel like if he goes to the Clippers, they have similar success, um, especially if they can get another All-Star to play with them. Like I said, Kyle Lowry is a little wishy-washy in the playoffs. He doing good in the regular season, but that's every year. I want to see if Kyle Lowry going to play the same way he played in the beginning of the season and see if they can all do it in the playoffs. The Raptors have been cursed. Yes, they made it to the Eastern Conference Finals before, but that was years ago, and they haven't been back since. They were the number one team in the East last year, and they got swept by the Cavaliers. I wonder what's going to happen. I feel like the playoffs is going to be the real big difference of why Kawhi Leonard will want to leave or want to stay. If they can get far, if they can compete with the, the East best and get to the finals, I don't see why he'll be in the rush to leave. But if they continue to have this Jekyll High where they dominate in the regular season and flop in the playoffs, when teams game plan and execute and adapt to their play style and match up with them and just focus on them, if they have that problem again, there's no reason for Kawhi Leonard to stay. At this point, Kawhi Leonard is just going for legacy, trying to win as many times as he can, trying to enhance his legacy so he can go down as one of the best ever. He's already a champion. He's already a finals MVP, um, and, and he's already one of the top five players in the world. Only thing he can do is be the best player in the world. Only thing he can do is enhance his legacy to move up as one of the top 50 players in the world, which he's not there yet, but he can get there if he can play the way he's playing now and get even better, uh, which is possible because I don't seem to him play better than this, um, but it is debatable. But that also lets you know that Kawhi Leonard can go a little step further like he did in the 15-16 season. So let me know what you guys think. Should he leave? Should he stay? Should he go? Um, is this the best team for him? Should he just observe and explore all his options because he is a free agent? Um, or should he just say, hey, I'm about to go play with another max player, go back to the West. I made it to the All-Star game in the West. I made it to the All-NBA team in the West. Remember, they voted Kawhi Leonard All-NBA first team over Kevin Durant a couple years ago. Showed you how great of a player he is. So let me know. Is he crazy for even considering leaving Toronto because they're the number one team in the East, I mean, in the NBA? Um, or, you know, he got to see the whole thing play out. You know, this is a long season. They still got the playoffs to go to. Let me see what's going on. Let me observe. Let me just be a student of the game. Let me see how my teammates adjust, how they prepare. Let me see how your side is. Let me see how the organization is. And let's see what we can do in this playoff situation. And I think that this whole experience is all going to factor in if he leaves. And they have to really try to go out there and win this year as much as they can to, to prove that. Kawhi Leonard, this is the best, the best place for you to win. This is the best place for you. And that's why they made the trade and they're making the case right now. But they still got over um, 50 games to play, and that's not even including the playoffs. So he still got a long way to really see this thing out. And, you know, playing with Kevin Durant ain't a bad thing either. You know, he's a Durant and two-time finals MVP. So that's something to be happy to play with if you can get him. But if they can't, they can still get another max player in the future or even somebody else outside of Kevin Durant. So it's still something to consider.
Check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description in the comment section below. Like on Facebook to show support. I enjoy making these videos. You guys enjoy watching as I continue to go. Quinn Wade basketball analysis, I'm gone. Will quite learn leave or stay? Let me know in the comment section.